Hi guys. Just a short little video today. Isn't that gas? <laughs> uh, it's a skyboat. Skyboat. I hope you can hear me alright. I don't know if you can. So I did just this little drawing today and uh, I thought um, I've left the stand up in the studio so I thought I would just um, do the final little flourish um, and put a touch of colour in it on video. I've been walking about the land today and just kind of having um, a little bit of time with the trees and the landscape here. It was a lovely uh, walk. I just really went a few hundred yards in the end because there are so many lovely trees to sit on and um, yeah, I brought back a little a little twig from a really old oak tree that I thought I could draw with. Um, I think tomorrow now. There's a few trees I've seen that are um, especially in the evening light lovely, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna, um, this is the bench just outside my little house. So I'm gonna do that little bit of cerulean blue in the boat while you're with me. Um, so again, I've been um, using my non-dominant hand, my left hand the whole time for these any drawings. I do know I seem to want to do that. Um, I, I do want to do that because it feels um, somehow simpler. I don't get caught up in my mind. Okay, and it's actually lovely being out and about. I feel like um, that's actually the, the medicine needed now is for me to just embrace the place really and see what happens from there. So, and I find if there's no forcing, uh, I get on grand. A darker line of blue in there now that's maybe more closer to ultramarine. It's around, um, it's around the heading, the name of the boat. I think as far as I can see it's called Girl, Girl Hannah. I'm just putting, I think this is a, so it's a dark blue anyway, of some sort. I'm really wanting ultramarine, but I think this will do. I think it is ultramarine, isn't it? I'm just going to make it a bit darker. And then um, my plan is to go and um, sit in the summer house over there with my hot water bottle. There's a lovely turquoise summer house. Maybe I should draw that another time. Um, over there behind me. I know I'm getting a bit trigger happy now that I've started and I feel like I want to um, put a, a little bit of burnt sienna or something in the bottom of the boat there. I was, I was kind of... Um, um, inspired to do a little drawing because I felt like the tree there wants to kind of check out the boat. It's kind of wondering what the hell are you doing up here like? I would imagine. I don't know. So I, I, I kind of moved it a bit closer by mistake first but then I thought oh he probably does want to get closer and say you know what's going on? <laughs> I don't know. But it's a lovely thing to have um, something that feels um, you know, fresh, inspiring, out of place, somehow out of place, to just disturb that, um, that complacency that we can sometimes fall into. I can see it's framed nicely out my my um, kitchen window, so I might be doing a few of these boat paintings. Who would have thought I'd be painting boats down here? Oh, this is my, my right hand, no, sure, I was just noticing that. It seemed to be fine, I trusted enough to put colour. You can hear all the farm animals, that's another thing. I really love drawing and painting farm animals. Well, chickens and 
roosters and all that kind of thing. And I actually thought that um, the stuff that I found today, I was thinking, you know, <laughs> what does that remind you of? Like, it reminds me of a rooster's tail. There's a few things that I found, and I thought, well, could maybe, could maybe create a little um, a little animal, some nature, or something. I don't know. And then there's lots of molehills, and so I made this little ball of earth. It's really satisfying to hold. I've made a few of them. They're in trees down there. And this one I just stuck the feather in to keep the grass together, wrapped around it. But the ones in the trees are just soil alone. I don't know about it. Oh, it's coming apart already there now. I made a few more crosses and left them around the place as well. Bridget is, you know, Bridget is the patron saint of, um, if you're... Christian and uh, and believe it, the the saint thing, but she's for centuries anyway before Christianity even was um, connected with the land, and um, they say to sprinkle the old cross over the land um, brings good luck and fertility. So I thought I might um, as well as making some new fresh Bridget's crosses to leave by the trees. I thought I could bring my old one. I have bought my old ones from last year down here. And I thought maybe I could crush them up and spread them over the land. I don't suppose the trees are particular about where the reeds came from in the first place. I think actually one of them came from over by the Kelpies in Falkirk when we were staying in the canal boat last year. You probably can't hear a thing, because I'd imagine that wind, when they turn away from you, is uh, a bit loud. Uh, I'll just put a little touch in the window. I love this little cabin. I wonder if it would be possible to, to get in there. There's a gorgeous moon over that over the boat last night through the kitchen window. I saw that too. I'm just eating the tone of that. Thank there. And that one going back in the distance. So, you know, this is um this feels good. Like I felt yesterday I was drawing those tulips in the little vase that I made, you know, and I was feeling a little bit like I was kind of trying hard, and uh, I've had a few words with myself today about that. Again, sorry. <laughs> sorry if you can't hear anything. I'm, I'm not saying anything very uh, groundbreaking. But um, there we have it. I think I'm going to stop there now, and um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. As I say, with, um... oh, sorry. As I say, I've been down there. There's some amazing, um, like this doesn't do it justice at all, no, of course. But there's amazing swathes of um, snowdrops. There's the sun setting over there. That's the turquoise shed. And, um, and there's some lovely little dells down there with um, snowdrops in them. That tree has a nice swathe of snowdrops in front of it. I was going to go down there and then it caught, the, the boat caught my eye and I thought, look, I'll just sit here and do a drawing of the boat and maybe tomorrow I can uh, go further afield. We'll see. It's happening anyway, there's movement occurring, you know, and I feel a lot brighter in myself today having spent this most, most of the afternoon, all the afternoon outdoors actually. Yeah. So all the best, good to see you again. And there, I'm going back in there now and I'm gonna have myself a nice cup of coffee. All right, I've got half the library. That was just to hold, to hold up the, um, that was now to hold up um, my iPad. But there's another, there's another load of them inside. I just thought you'd never know. Anyway, lots of love, bye.